silent war is declared. Six years ago, Lene Hale was in the fight of her life. Vision fails when the soul's impaired. The pain she sings about is her own, and her music is reaching listeners everywhere. Whether she's on tour or getting airplay on MTV's hit show, the she bravely shares her story. Lene Hale used to be a cutter. Her descent into this addictive behavior that's growing among teens at an alarming rate didn't happen overnight. No one really knew all the insecurities I had because I was a girl that I never thought I was good enough, not pretty enough, not worth a lot. I believed it for everyone else, but not really. For myself, I had a hard time wrapping my mind around this thing called God's love, which I had heard about because I grew up in church. I had always heard about God's love and His grace, but those, those things just never really, I, just, I didn't get it. Instead, Lene sought the love and significance she craved in a serious relationship in high school. I received a diamond ring and he promised that he'd marry me. And so I was like, yes, I found it. I'm in love. This is what I want to do. And so when it ended, at that time, I didn't see it as God saving me from an unhealthy relationship, but more that all the insecurities that had kind of accumulated in my mind about myself were solidified at that moment. What was it that drove you to cut yourself? Because that's painful. I mean, what, yeah. what was going on inside? After the really awful breakup and uh, the different things going on in my life at, at that time, I began to walk down a road of depression. And it was just this downward spiral of, of you know, guilt and self-condemnation. I would go through these anxiety attacks, I'd sort of panic attacks, and I'd cry all the time. I got to a point where I was so tired of feeling weak that I just wanted to cut away all my emotional pain so that I could still look like the strong girl that no one could break on the outside. But um, because of that, no one really knew that I was falling apart on the inside. Did you hear about it somewhere? I mean, what gave you the idea just to cut yourself? I hadn't heard about cutting. That's what's so scary is I think in my mind that was a way to, I could maybe commit suicide if I, you know, if I got deep enough. And so cutting, I could, I didn't have to cry anymore. I could just focus on physical pain and not have to worry about my emotions anymore. Lene kept her dangerous habit a secret. When she went away to college, her abusive behavior became more severe. Lene went from cutting herself with thumbtacks to using shards of broken glass and finally knives. Whenever I cut, I would have this voice in my head that would say, um, go deeper, deeper, just over and over in my head. I was sort of in a trance and I would just cut and um, I'd hear that voice. But I remember that there was just something deeper within me that wouldn't let me take my life. Lene believes it was God who kept her from taking her life. As a child, she began a relationship with Jesus. But as a teen, her faith became a struggle. In my heart, I loved God and I wanted to do right. I remember when I would cut, I would pray and I'd, I'd beg God to forgive me. This will be the last time and it wasn't, you know, because I didn't leave it in His hands because I wanted to control my own life. So I think it was a, a control struggle between God and I. <laughs> I just didn't want to let Him control. I, I wanted to fix myself. She sought help from a psychiatrist on campus. In the middle of her first session, Lene had a change of heart. I just thought, what am I doing? I am trying to get answers everywhere and trying to find this peace that I've had before and it's nowhere to be found. And I felt like God kind of my heart, you've had this peace before, what are you doing? Why are you going so far? And I remember leaving there in a daze going, man, what am I doing? She discovered hope in the Bible. I read Psalm 147.3 that says, he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. And I was like, really? <laughs> okay. I was so excited and so desperate for that. And I grabbed a hold of that verse and I, I just begged God, please heal me. So I had to actually just give up my control. I had to stop trying to control my own life and hand him Moses and ask that he heal me. And he really began that process. And it was a long, hard process. Lene threw out her stash of knives. She cried out to God for help to resist the urge to cut again. And through prayer and reading the Bible, she grew stronger. That's when the Lord really began to minister, uh, began to minister to my soul and began to um, do the intense healing within me. I get so excited when I talk about it because it's the first time in my life that He began to show me and I began to understand what God's love is and what this, I'd always heard about what it was. I learned that 
Um, in order to fight these lies in my mind, I had to fill my mind with truth. Just throughout life, we always have to discipline ourselves to read the truth and to fight because it's so easy just to sit down and die, <laughs> you know, and just to let Satan beat us up. But man, there's so much power in Christ's name. I really learned the power of who Jesus Christ is. Lene found the healing she desperately needed in Christ. Through her music, she offers the hope of freedom in Christ to those who are hurting like she did. All I can say is there is that peace that just has washed over me again, that I don't have to wake up in despair um, every day. I wake up and, and I have a reason to live. And that's because the Lord's given that to me. And I have hope, whereas I was hopeless before. So I guess I feel that freedom. It, it is a sense, it's not just words, I'm free in Christ because His truth has truly set me free.